Kirk Thomas. I'm a test engineer here at Cobham. Ben Holtz, and I am an assembly technician. I'm Ryan Shepard, and I am the manufacturing manager. My name is Jack Gutierrez. I work back here in the shipping and in the radome area. Jarvis Walker, and I am a test engineer. Jim Miller, and uh, I'm a lead uh, assembler here. My name is Ann Pham. I'm a senior assembler. I'm the, I'm the ultimate middleman. Anytime there's a new product that we have, I test and verify that product before it's released to production. But we're actually exercising the antenna, doing mechanical tests on it, making sure that the antenna is built right, that it's balanced, the motors are working correctly, and we actually put it up on a bird and we, you know, we'll track a satellite and make sure everything's working correctly. The responses are, are, are measured and compared against limits. We, we not only validate what we have, but we also try and find a way to break it so that it won't get broken in the field. I mean, I don't throw it off the side of a building or anything, but, um, but <laughs> it's a little scary because you don't know if it's going to smoke. Um, you know, hopefully nothing does, and you, know, it's, it, you get it working, it's like, you know, it feels really good to make or do or have that accomplishment. I'm responsible for everything manufacturing. I do capacity planning, so I understand the, uh, the forecast of what type of product and how much of each product we're going to be building for a year. Um, I run a mixed model factory um, here, which means that we do high mix, high variation product. But we're always changing, we're always moving around, we're always looking to optimize. Uh, so the amount of stations uh, tends to flux with whatever our demands are, whatever our needs are. It never looks the same every time they change it around. They're always, uh, the wheels are always turning, they're always looking to optimize the space. Oh, the first one is sub-assembly. When you pull the kit out from the central, stacking and balancing the system. You're going to do reflector. You mount reflector on elevation. You have to hook up all that harness and balancing. And after that, we tension the belt. Everything is snug. You cannot be loose. You cannot have loose hardware. Make sure it doesn't hit any components. <laughs> Make sure the system is good, ready to go. We don't just visual inspect, we have to make sure that it's really tight. Like loose hardware, serial number is correct. If the system has, a, you know, the all connectors has a torque seal, all stuff. Make sure you're gonna ship the system with a good quality. And we use our inspection checklist. We place it within a dome. Yeah, they, they can, you know, withstand, you know, impacts and, uh, severe jostling. 